It is uh, ayah in Surah Al-Imran. قل اللهم مالك الملك تؤتي الملك من تشاء وتنزع الملك من من تشاء وتعز من تشاء وتذل من تشاء بيدك الخير إنك على كل شيء قدير At a certain night it was the night when actually someone that I don't like became a, a ruler in a country and I think that he, he took uh, the, the, uh, the rule there uh, unjustly after an inqilab and stuff like that. I really wasn't feeling good that night. And I went to pray um, in the mosque, Fajr, and um, the imam didn't come, so they pushed me to lead the prayer. So reciting this ayah, I felt like I'm reciting it for the first time in my life. I never noticed this. Listen. Say, O oh Allah, the owner of the authority or the dominion, the owner of authority. You give authority to whoever you will. And you take authority from whoever you will. And you honor whoever you will, and you humiliate whoever you will. Excuse me, why four times whoever you will? The Quran should be more concise. Hmm? The Quran is concise. Why didn't Allah say it like that? Say, oh Allah, owner of authority. You give authority and honor whoever you will. And you take authority and humiliate whoever you will. We could have saved two whoever you wills, but he didn't say so. Why? He didn't link authority with honor or humiliation. So Allah can give authority to someone and humiliate him when he is in authority. And Allah can take authority from someone and then honor him after authority was taken from him. You see the beauty here, it's mind blowing. And you know what? I read it like 10,000 times before and I never understood it like that. Except when I was in a certain psychological uh, status and I understood it. And that's amazing, this, this is mind blowing.